Hey guys, this is Praveen DeVos and first of all, I want to wish you all a very, very happy New Year and best wishes for the New Year. It's been a fantastic year to 2023. We had a huge, huge launch for the first season of Pro Punjab League. It was a big success and I want to thank all of you athletes, especially and of course everybody, the coaches, managers, the technical committee, the, uh, the commissioner, uh, the managers and everybody behind the scenes the whole PPL team who made this a big big success So thank you all together We have made Pro Panja League a big success in the very first year and we look to many many bigger things happening in 2024 of course some athletes can do better I think some athletes didn't take it as seriously as everybody else so the athletes who wanted who took it seriously I want to say congrats you guys are the ones who made PPL a success and uh, to the athletes, some of them who didn't take it so seriously, I just want to say you need to take it seriously. You have to be more serious about this because there is a lot of competition in PPL now. There is a lot of competition for each and every place. And you will find this out, especially in, in the third uh, the season when the auction happens. You know, so not everybody may get their name. It's not necessary that because you are in the league right now that your name will be in the auction if we feel somebody's not taking the the league and the sport as seriously as they should then your main name may not be in there but of course that's a small percentage i still want to say congrats to all the athletes for making pro panja league a very big success with your blood sweat and hard work i want to say that i'm very happy for those athletes who have started new things as well i saw a lot of athletes opening gyms there's a lot of athletes doing well on social media and that's very important because even if in the IPL you see cricketers are making only 15% of their yearly income through the IPL the rest of it comes through various other means you know some uh, like like some of the athletes are doing opening gyms or social media so it's very good to keep training yourselves keep doing better and use that money wisely you know whatever money you're making now and of course it'll keep increasing in the years to come invest it wisely recently in Jaipur Satnam Singh won the lucky draw of two lakhs you know which was great and uh, he also won another 32,000 in prize money in the actual tournament so when we asked him what he's going to do with that money he said he he's going to uh, do his uh, house registry with that money so I was very proud at that moment because he realized that the most important thing is to take care of necessary things which are necessary you know for you because that kind of money doesn't come every day you know don't waste your money buying new iPhones and you know stuff like that just to put it on social media and and uh, you know show other people it's 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 rubbish don't waste your money remember you have to be financially very smart an athlete's life is not very long you know it's not like it'll be throughout your life so so make sure you're you are using your money wisely and uh, I want to say congrats to all the award winners the athletes who won the year-ending awards of course it wasn't easy for us to choose because everybody did a fantastic job and uh, it was very hard uh, choosing the uh, athletes and uh, but uh, you know and uh, so, uh, just because there were some award winners doesn't mean the others didn't do well. I think it was very hard and everybody who was nominated did a fantastic job. So congrats to all the athletes. All the others I would say keep working harder uh, and uh, so you can also be amongst the award winners next year. This year we really did a Bharat Ka Tour. Apart from the first season of Pro Panja League, we also went all around the country literally. You know, we, we went to Hosharpur. Chandigarh, Bhopal, Guwahati, uh, Jaipur, uh, you know, all, all across Delhi a couple of times, Mumbai, uh, you know, uh, so it really is Bharat Ka Khel. We do want to, of course, do something more in the south and hopefully this year we will manage to do that. We've been, of course, to the Kerala State Championship, but we want to do this year, hopefully, in the states that we've not managed to do. We want to come and uh, do tournaments there as well. And I, I just want to say to those athletes who have done very well, keep your feet on the ground. You know, just make sure that you put in the hard work that got you the success. You know, don't forget to keep doing that hard work. Never let success 
go to your head, keep working very hard. And for those who weren't able to be as successful as you should have been or wanted to, keep working hard. Just remember it takes one day, only one day to change your fortunes, fortunes around and become a star. So just remember that. Another thing I want to say is that not all the athletes were taking advantage of the fact that we had foreign coaches uh, during the Pro Punjali season. And I, you know, you hear a lot that we don't have coaches. So, you know, the Kazakhstan players have a certain grip and we don't know they're trained differently. You know, but when you had foreign coaches here, I saw, you know, not as many athletes as we should taking advantage of that. You know, you need to, 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 to ask the coaches. You need to take tips from them. You need to train constantly if you want to be better because we want that our Pro Punjab League players do well internationally as well. And for that, we have to know what is the international technique. So keep learning next year. I want to see more athletes, you know, with these coaches in the gyms, you know, and training. Now, another very important thing I want to talk about uh, this year is character. Uh, and I want to give you an example of that as well. You know, a lot of athletes showed, exemplified great character. They put their heart and soul into every match. There are some times where I noticed in certain tournaments here and there that athletes would give a match up to their friend. They would do good acting and pretend like they, you know, but of course, you know, I, I can see through it. Uh, you know, and uh, I'll, 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 I'll tell all the athletes is please don't do that because we will take it as a kind of match fixing. Uh, you know, luckily I didn't see it in the the the, the Pro Panja League itself. I have seen it a couple of other places here there. So I'm requesting you don't do that. It will get you into trouble and no amount of you saying, oh, sir, my hand was tired. That's why blah, blah, blah. All those excuses, you know, will would not work. So and I want to give you an example of 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 character, of how athletes really give their all. And so athletes who are not, you know, uh, that's a problem. So during the Sheru Classic in Mumbai this year, Tohid and Siddhant had a super match. And both of them gave their all. Uh, Siddhant uh, won the uh, super match. Tohid didn't even give one excuse not one excuse he didn't say oh the referee and this my hand or not one excuse he congratulated Siddhant and both of them went into the weight division tournament as well in their weight division which I don't recommend to all of the athletes because you know your hands get tired it's, it's not easy doing a best of five and so you should take it easy I know you're very hungry for matches you know and hungry to prove yourself but it's it's, it's better to be safe also sometimes but anyway, so uh, both athletes went into the, the tournament and uh, Tohid won the first place. The one boy, I think his name is Afsal, won the second place from Aurangabad and the third place was Siddhant. So the top two players of this weight group were supposed to go into the COC. Tohid came, the second boy did not. And this is what I'm trying to say because what I heard, I forgot if I spoke to him myself or I asked somebody. And I was told that that boy felt that he wouldn't be able to beat Tohid and therefore he, he wasn't going to come. And I feel that's nonsense. You know, we do not want athletes like that who just give up matches and say, oh, I won't be able to beat him, so I won't come. You know, that's absolute nonsense. That's not the kind of athletes we want to uh, encourage. Uh, I, you know, when, when I found out that he wasn't coming, I called Siddhant up because he came third. I said, listen, what are you doing? You know, can you come for the COC because the number two is not coming? He said, sir, you know, I wasn't meant to, but okay, I'm in my hotel. I'll, I'll come right now. And he, and he came and of course, uh, Tohid won the COC. Not once did Siddhant complain that, you know, I'm injured. And I found out later that he was injured because I recommended him to a doctor myself where he got treatment. But not once did he complain that, sir, I can't come because I'm injured or anything. He said, okay, sir, I'll come. You know, and I have to give an example of these two athletes, Tohid and Siddhan. Not once did they complain about anything. Not once did Tohid say, oh, I lost, so I won't be playing in this. Or, you know, he's, he, he just came back right, right into it and said, I'm going to beat him back. I'm going to beat him. You know, that's the kind of hungry athlete we love and we like. And the kind of athlete, look at Siddhan. You know, he still came back. 
he did, he, he could have said, sir, you know, I'm tired or he could have said anything. He didn't make one excuse. He came. So Tohid and Sidan, these are the kind of athletes, you know, with a lot of character. And I want to, I wanted to make an example of them. There are a lot of other athletes. This is not to say that other athletes don't have character. All of our athletes are brilliant, you know, and, and just to name a, you know, Rahul Panikar in, in season had an injury, but still played the next round. You know, you, you look at so, much, so many of our athletes, Askar, uh, Masayar, uh, Harman, you know, uh, Dara, uh, Aryan, uh, Kyle, a, a, a lot of our athletes, Yogesh, Chetna, uh, Riba Sok, Madhura, you know, they, they never back down from a fight, not once. Have they have they said, oh, we won't fight or blah, 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 anything. So I, I just want to say, you know, use this as an example. Remember, never back down from a fight. You know, if, if you're meant to be there, then please, you know, don't say, make up excuses. I won't be able to beat him and all, and all that. That's not what, uh, you know, makes a, 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 a superstar athlete. And uh, in the end, I just want to say that just remember, that you are always Bharatiya athletes first. You are always Bharatiya athletes first. When you are in the PPL league, representing your teams, then your team always comes first. You're not playing for your state. You're not playing for your club. I know you practice with a lot of them, but you are playing for your team. Just remember that. I know sometimes you've got friends in other clubs and this and that, but just remember once you put on that uniform, there are no friends. There are no brothers, no nothing. There's only your team and you play for your team only. You know, I know there's a lot of stuff sometimes on the, on the net where they're, they're doing religion against religion. You know, that is not what Pro Panja League is about. You are playing for your team and your team only. Okay, whatever gives you the motivation and belief to fight, that is up to you, right? But you know that in Pro Panja League, we are a sports league, okay? And you fight for your team. I just want to say again that again, I want to congratulate all the athletes for such a brilliant year. 2023 has been great. The reason I say all of this is because I want you to do better. I want the athletes to keep getting better and keep getting better. So it is my job to keep pushing you you know, and not say, okay, you've done great and brilliant and okay, let's move on. No, my job is to see where you can improve and to try to keep, keep, you know, pushing you to improve. And that's what I'll keep doing. But again, congratulations to all the athletes. 2023 was a brilliant year. 2024 is going to be even bigger and better. Thank you once again. Happy New Year. Jai.